what would you do in this situation? Your vehicle comes in contact with power lines with you and your kids in the car. That's just what happened last night on County Road 13, but the kids were a soccer team and the vehicle was a school bus. The bus driver knew exactly what to do, and that is stay, on the stay in the vehicle unless it's too dangerous and you have to get out of the vehicle. So he did everything correctly by keeping those kids on the vehicle. When the SUV hit the utility pole, live power lines were knocked down and the bus drove into them. Baldwin EMC has a training program called Live Wire that simulates issues people encounter with power lines. The car scenario is demonstrated here. If any part of your body is touching an energized car and you step onto the ground, well, you get the picture. There are three things to remember if you find yourself in this situation. First, call 911. Second, stay in the vehicle until power or emergency crews arrive and give you the go ahead. And third, a last resort. If you have to get out of the vehicle for any reason, cross your arms, keep them close to your chest, put your feet together, and jump as far away from the vehicle as you can and then shuttle yourself together, keeping your feet together away from the vehicle. That should only happen in a life or death situation. Baldwin EMC has scheduled a class next month for all county school bus drivers to go through the live wire training. There are many other scenarios that could bring you in contact with live power lines. There's one very important thing to remember in any of those situations. Always assume that that line is live, back away, and call for assistance. Reporting live in Baldwin County, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.